Hi! Welcome to another one of my videos. Thank you so much guys for either joining me again or joining me for the first time. My name is Gemini Tarot. So I have three piles above. Today we're going to do a pick a card reading and see what messages your future self has for you. So make sure to choose a pile with intuition. Don't just rush to pick a pile or the reading may not resonate. <laughs> Regardless, we're just going to get straight into it. I'm going to see you guys in the pile selection and I hope the pile you choose resonates for you. Bye! Hi, pile number one. So we're just going to get straight into your reading. I prefer to shuffle all of the cards just so I can see the full story and then tell you guys what it says. So I'm going to shuffle on camera so you guys know I'm not manipulating the reading. And in the timestamps down below, you guys can sk skip the shuffling portion if you So the warnings that your guy, um, your future self, sorry, I'm so used to saying guides, just as like a filler word, but the warning that your future self has for you, definitely they want you to not get so pessimistic because that's also one of the, the cards, uh, I don't know where it is, but one of the, one of the um, adjectives for this card says pessimism here. And so I'm just feeling like, number one, they want you to not be so pessimistic. Right now, there are still opportunities around you, even if some shit has been destroyed. There needs to be a new fucking change in perspective. You guys need to fucking get out of your feelings. I know that that's like, I know that that's easier said than done, but you need to see that there's there's opportunities in front of you. If you, it's like, for example, you can be laying on the floor. I don't know how to really explain it, but you can be laying on the floor and all you see is the stars and like this vast emptiness. That could be how you feel currently. But if you get up, walk, take a, 10 fucking steps, you'll see that there is a fucking hill. And I, over that hill, there's a lot of shit happening over there. But, I mean, that's just an example. I don't know. That's a horrible fucking analogy. Hopefully you guys are, are still here with me, but that is what I'm seeing. Like, you guys are needing to fucking get out of your head. I know that's fucking easier said than done. I freaking know. But, um, don't be pessimistic. Something else, your guides are asking that you write this shit down. Some of you guys are fucking artists. Some of you guys are going to be people that, um other people live vicariously through some people you guys are literally go i mean this is for you so you guys are going to be changing your life and i do not care how you feel currently i mean most of you because some of you guys may not listen to this reading but you guys are going to be fucking changing your life okay and your guides are trying to let you know that your guides are trying to let you know that um you are going what this the stuff that you're the knowledge that you're getting the insight that you're getting the quick burst like ideas that you're getting the the ways in which you're expressing yourself all of this stuff could help someone else and also help you if that makes sense when it comes to like not only what you're trying to do for your future self so for example if you're trying to write a book then writing how writing down how you feel having a journal stuff like that that's really going to impact you in a really positive way for those of you that, um, oopsies, my cards just keep fucking falling. For those of you that, I don't know, but you guys get what I mean. You could be a musician, you can be an artist, but you could be a, po um, a poet, whatever the fuck it is, man. Just write things down. Something else is to take care of your health. Some of you guys are neglecting your health. Some of you guys, it's just not really a top priority for you. This needs to be a priority. This is like your all types of health too your physical body your mental body your spiritual body you need to be taking care of those yeah your health so that's a big thing that i'm seeing too but yeah your guides are really trying to let you know like you guys have a very deep purpose here that there's destiny there's some sort of destiny here and i think that you guys are also someone who is getting a lot of wisdom someone who is very wise because of what you have gone through and whether you're wise now or whether you're going to be wise in the future some of you guys need to trust your path and if you fucking stay optimistic if you don't get pessim pessim uh, pessimistic then you will be able to see what the universe could have possibly been teaching you you'll be able to see that but in the past in the in the recent future i just feel like 
there were a lot of things that happened to you emotionally or things that could have like the way that you were raised or just certain things that allowed you to be comfortable living a life that wasn't yours or or identifying with something that wasn't an authentic representation of you or who it is that you actually were. Um, this could be currently or this could be in the past, but I'm feeling like there could, I don't know, it doesn't really matter as to how this could have um, happened to you or how you guys could have been too comfortable, but I feel like especially with this Saturn energy here, there's something that, especially with this destined card, there's something here that you were destined for, some sort of life that you were destined to live, some sort of future that you're destined to have, something that should, that does belong to you. And I feel that because there was something that you were consumed with or people that you were consumed with or jobs that you were consumed with, this is you being around someone all the time or just doing things to where it puts a veil over your eyes to where you're not seeing clearly. This could be you drinking on a daily basis, being with people who are just helping you, dis like whatever it is, there was just escapism and comfortability and you guys were way too comfortable doing some things and so I feel like with this Saturn card here, especially with this exorcist card something or something will happen if it hasn't already happened something will happen or has already happened that's going to force or push you deeper into some sort of spiritual awakening that allows you to purge all of this dis like i don't want to say disgusting energy but all of this energy that is just not in alignment with you or who it is that you are and i feel some of you guys could have already gone through that this could be what your future self is saying if you haven't gone through it then this is what your future self is trying to warn you of if you have gone through this your future self right now some of you guys could be a little bit confused as to what it could have been but like what could this have possibly taught me like this is i've been through this i've been through that like what the fuck could this have possibly taught me and i do think that especially with all of this moon energy coming out and this surrender coming out i feel like there's really a need for you guys to just slow down and focus on what's happening emotionally you may also need to take care of like yourself like when it comes to your health this could be something that your future self is trying to warn you about um because some of you guys may not prioritize your health currently or you could just be trying to navigate all like through all of this confusion in your health or something when it comes to eating is just like not your top priority and this is definitely something that needs to change because you guys are saying that everything that needs to be everything that needs to be what's the word explained or anything everything that needs to be done or handled will be handled if that makes sense and so i just feel like there's a need for y'all to just calm down trust your guides right now and go within this is what your future self is asking you to do they're asking you to prioritize your health and prioritize the things that you actually will bring with you like for example, I'm about to move out of, um, I'm about to move out and there's all of this stuff that I bought when it comes to my room and it's like, for example, during that time while I was buying all of that shit, I could have been not focused on my health, not prioritizing my health. Meanwhile, when I move out, I'm not bringing any of this stuff with me and the universe will replace the things, like give me what it is that I need. And so that's literally what your guides are trying to tell you at this time is like, there's no need for you guys to be prioritizing or not even the universe but your future self which is the universe but that's what your future self is trying to tell you like do not prioritize oh my gosh i need to have this and i need to look like this focus on making sure you're good emotionally focus on trying to calm your emotions and some of you guys really need to use the moon to navigate your life and i could really help you guys um help you guys like use the moon because i use the moon phases i mean my last name is also moon which is really weird but i use the moon phases to navigate like my life so i'm gonna do a video on that very very soon um but anyway that's what you, um your future self is trying to tell you and this is leading you to the happiness that you want some of you guys could have put certain manifestations out there could have asked the universe for this could have asked the universe for that and of course, if you want something new, there's a new version of you that needs to come forth. So Saturn is coming out and this is kind of to me, well, the card that represents Saturn in tarot is the world card. 
but Saturn is also like the father card in my opinion it talks about discipline it talks about creating that stability I'm also hearing birds like I, I literally oh ugh, why am I talking I cannot talk recently I've been hearing birds when I do readings but anyway so I'm just seeing here that this Saturn this is what has come out this has been like pretty much fucking shaping and molding you like you guys know the movie 300 I don't know why every time I do tarot readings like my setup is always super cute and it's like pink and unicorns and fucking butterflies and then like the analogies I'm using I'm talking about these movies where there's like brutal kill scenes and like crazy ass violence and shit which is part of being a Gemini <laughs> the duality of being a Gemini but um I feel like that's kind of what I'm seeing like the scene from the movie 300 is just like you know when the boy has to like kill this fucking crazy wolf and he's outside and like in the winter and having to find ways to survive and shit like I feel like even though some of you guys you could have already had to go through this some of you guys have really had to put up and some of you guys are currently fucking fighting some shit some of you guys are gonna have to continue it doesn't even matter what you guys really need to focus on is the entire picture when you look back you're gonna recognize and appreciate how this has shaped and molded you how much you've learned during this time of whatever you've been going through you're going to honestly be appreciative of it right now it may be frustrating and i'm sure some of you guys when you look back on the things if you guys had parents that were like super available to you and that wanted to teach you things and were really hard on you and strict on you if they set you up for your future or some of you guys maybe you resented your parents during that time while they were doing that or when they tried to do that and in the future you're probably like i wish that they did more of that or i really do appreciate that whatever the case is it's like you were gonna feel this same way and so i think that there's been something here when it comes to your communication when it comes to you allowing yourself to be the baddie the dude i don't know because i don't know how to fucking compliment men i don't think a lot of men watch my tarot readings especially because there's so much glitter and shit but <laughs> i think that if you are well you are this fucking daddy and some of you guys played small some of you guys again were too com fucking comfortable too comfortable not showing the world and everyone who it is that you fucking are like some of you guys have just been too comfortable with not no and saturn and your guides and your future self like none of them are gonna have this because there's something here that you guys know you're destined for there's something bigger that you guys know you're meant to fucking do and i think that all of this chaos and all of this you're gonna understand that in the future this has helped you greatly so, um, let's see what else your future self has to tell you but yeah you guys are literally it's like you're going through like it's like you've been possessed by like this spirit of laziness or apathy or unmotivatedness or um the spirit of insecurity whatever the case is you've been like possessed by that and like an exorcism is about to happen currently so this next card do you see the moon is here too we have seduction this message sometimes it's so um annoying being like a guide for you guys not really but it's just awkward for me to have certain to say certain things from this like perspective but regardless i'm gonna say that a lot of you guys especially with this moon card um this could even be doing like some of you guys may need to do certain sex magic not in a, a scary demonic what are you doing type of thing but mostly in the ways of understanding what it is that you even want i feel like a lot of you guys are actually about to be in relationships when it comes to the future some of you guys have been single for a while um and some of you guys with this i'm not going to do reversals but so, and look saturn is didn't i say at the beginning of this reading that saturn is the the world card <laughs> But regardless, um, I'm feeling like some of you guys are really needing to start getting comfortable with yourselves and understanding yourselves and like what it is that you even want when it comes to romantic situations and intimate situations. Um, because even if you guys have had partners before and have been with people before, there could have been this energy of not really allowing yourself to be in the moment or allowing yourself to 
say what it is that you even want especially with this communication so this there's a need for you guys to start having a better relationship with yourself and the relationship that you have with yourself is really going to help the relationship that you have when it comes to someone in the future and so this is why there's a need for you guys because this isn't even telling you guys to do like certain sexual things this is more so telling you guys to just be in tune with yourself when it comes to all aspects so that you can actually be in the moment and not sabotage the relationships and things that are coming to you some of you guys may have this perspective that having sex or being <laughs> sorry that i'm saying it so weird but being in that moment or whatever some of you guys may be way too in your head you may feel like just something's wrong or like whatever the case is some of you guys are just like in your heads about being intimate with people or there's just something here you guys not allowing yourself to express yourself in that time in that moment <laughs> i'm sorry that i'm talking so weird but um that i feel like yeah this is why a lot of you guys need to start asking yourself questions okay so that you can be prepared for what's about to come your way but um yeah you guys definitely this nine of um, wands is literally showing me someone who has fucking worked gotten their ass kind of beat not really but maybe <laughs> um some of you guys could have gone through some shit and it could have been a really fucking long journey for some of you. Like, whatever you're about to come out of could have been a really freaking long journey. But, or whatever you guys are newly beginning, newly ending, I don't know. It all depends on your situation, but I'm seeing that, like, man. Yeah, so, main thing your guides are really asking you guys to do is focus on or not your guides but your future self they're just trying to warn you they are telling you that there's going to be a lot of offers coming your way when it comes to romantic set um situations you guys are going to have that stability that you've been looking for but there's a need for you guys to just not sabotage it by not having this by not number one by not gaining the the knowledge that you need to gain during this time or not having everything that you need to have if that makes sense this isn't meant to scare you this is just meant to like your future self may look back and say i wish i did this oh, i wish i would have wrote that down i wish I, so just be mindful and just take your time and be in the now so that you can like have everything that you're trying like you know what i mean like like if you have an intuitive feeling like maybe i should write that down don't feel like i need to rush i just need to get this done whatever i'm not gonna write it down like just be in, be mindful of like the impulses and the intuitive pulls that you get to take your time when it comes to certain things and yeah but that's the main thing that i'm seeing with your situation guys um i really hope that this resonated comment down below a moon emoji if it did because there was a lot of moon energy for you guys comment down down below if this resonated i appreciate every single last one of you guys for getting this reading um and i'll see you guys in the next video bye hi pile number two <laughs> i almost forgot for a second but anyway let's get some channeled messages from your future self i like to have all the cards shuffled first and then i'll tell you guys what i'm seeing okay pile number two so what message does your future self have for you your future self is really trying to let you know that you have fucking everything that you need like you are that girl some of you guys may be questioning yourself because of some of the things that you've gone through there could have been some things that really complicated how you felt about yourself or just made things complicated where you just feel very gaslit and just very confused like what is real i do think right now it's time for you guys to be alone and focus on beauty or just like certain things when it comes to your image or how it is that you look I'm not telling you guys to be like what's the word that i'm looking for not telling you to be vain and conceited but this is really gonna help you guys get clear <laughs> sorry i'm getting hiccups but get clear about who it is that you actually are what it is that you value and i think that also like for me doing makeup has caused me to really like see myself like before when i didn't do makeup like some people think that makeup can become like uh oh like something that you use as like backup because you're insecure or some shit but when you use it when you do makeup it just helps you really accentuate your features that are already there and you can start seeing those features 
without having the makeup um so yeah anyway i think that there is a need for you guys to look, be on the lookout of helping way too many people or helping people that really don't deserve your help um your future the only thing that your future self it could really try to warn you about is just like making sure you're not helping the people that are getting involved with people that do not need to be around you again i don't know what it is about you guys' energy and this has nothing to do with you and it's not even a reflection of you a lot of you guys especially with this it's saying the bombshell you could be really attractive or you could have a lot of things that people want there could be certain things oh i'm sorry for that uh, there could be certain things that are just meant for you or certain things that you are going to get that could literally easily come to you especially with these cards that i'm seeing like this is telling me like productive fertile or why did i say fertile like that what the fuck i don't know why i said it like that. but whatever so i'm seeing loyal here and i'm just seeing like all of the stuff that shows you being motivated and there could have been a lot of puzzles that have been thrown your way but you find a way to get out of these fucking situations and people may think that something is coming easily to you people may think that it's just like why does this person have this that and a third it's because you fucking deserve it um but people may be jealous of that and so i'm just getting like there's certain people that are really that may especially with this rescuer in this aquarius card aquarius is or the aquarius of the zodiac they tend to be the humanitarians they tend to be helpful or whatever and what i'm seeing is there are going to be some people that could possibly want to create challenges for you when it comes to for some of you guys i'm specifically hearing your living environment um but like there are certain places and certain things that should just belong to you and again with that solitude card some of you guys need solitude and so i'm feeling like there's some energies that may want to be attached to you or that may get way too close to you that just may want certain things from you that you need to start setting boundaries okay like this is the main thing this could be a certain theme in your life of you protecting people or you helping people and what i'm seeing is no okay <laughs> What I'm seeing is it's important for you to not just help everyone. Um, yeah, so your future self is telling you this is just going to create some conflicts and turmoil. And with that caution card, you guys are just needing to be cautious about the people that you're allowing into your life. Um, I feel, though, when you guys come out of whatever fucking solitude you guys could be currently in solitude you could have already be, been becoming that girl, that guy. Some of you could be ha may have to take time for solitude to become you know who it is that you want to be but like what i'm seeing is what i'm seeing is when you guys come out of this it's like i'm seeing like i'm, I'm gonna show this effect on my screen so look at this effect right and that's kind of how i see you guys being seen by like when you guys pop out or when you guys come out you may not even recognize you may feel like yeah i look good like yeah i look good or i'm feeling good but other people may feel like damn like it it's like a burst of like whoa like it's a lot so i'm just feeling like there's gonna be a lot of people number one and i'm seeing this fly that just started flying around here which is so weird that out of all the places in this room it's trying to fly on the tarot cards so I don't know that's kind of weird but and these cards are new too well most of them well i don't want to say most of them the top ones are new but <laughs> what i'm seeing regardless is like the, they're gonna be people attracted to you there's gonna be a lot of desire man and i feel like a lot of your desires during this time you guys are so fucking blessed i don't know if you guys already know this or if you're about to fucking know but you guys are so fucking blessed here and I think that new challenges, because I'm also hearing the term new levels, new devils, right? But I'm seeing like new challenges and new things that are just going to help you become even more of like this mother. Like, I don't even know how to fucking explain this, but it's just going to influence you so like, oh my God. And then, like, as soon as I say this, it's be a lot of education and just learning and evolution 
but I'm not seeing the same types of challenges coming toward you anymore. The, the challenges that you're going to that you're going to that you're going to be dealing with it's like you can take a break from like there's certain challenges that could have been in your past where it's like this is your entire like situation if that makes sense like you're um what's the word that i'm looking for your past could have been consumed with like challenges but i feel like the challenges A lot of you guys, but the, the, I feel like also, and I'm sorry to go from a different topic, but I feel there's going to be people that try to challenge you as well, like I already mentioned. Um, there's going to be some people that try to challenge you too, but you guys are so like, you guys may not even know how much, like how important or magical you really are, like how magical or like how, how, how many things you've just manifested within your own fucking situation, like... You guys are really about to make some fucking things happen for you if you haven't already. You're really about to make some things happen for you because you are patient. Whatever you've been, you've been listening to the universe. You have, you have been called for something. Like you have a purpose that's much greater than a lot of other people's no shade. And this is why things are like, because you listen to your path, okay? You, and some of you guys could have created this path, but because you were committed to it, this is, this is the reason why shit is just gonna fucking like doors are just gonna be opening and things are just gonna open for you because you are follow your you're, you've been called to something and when you listen to those calls it's like duh you listen to it so of course you, you're gonna get the answers that you were looking for if that makes sense so i'm just feeling like man there it's like i keep hearing and there was something else that I've, I've been hearing in songs and for some reason like the things that have been resonating for other people are coming out when it comes like in my life but i'm hearing like no longer scared or what's that one song um i fear nothing anymore uh fuck let me search it up because I, I have to know but okay whatever there's just a lot of songs that i've been hearing like fear nothing anymore some of you guys could have been so fucking scared to speak up for yourself scared to do this scared to do that scared to take a risk that's like you're gonna be scared at first some of you guys could be scared now but it's gonna get so fucking easy and like i said it's gonna become there's gonna be new challenges that you deal with the things that you once were dealing with the problems that you once were dealing with no more and people are gonna fucking recognize you people are gonna know you too people are gonna see you as attractive People are going to want to be close to you. Energies are going to want to be around you. And this could be a little bit overwhelming for some of you guys. Whoa. Okay. Um, this could be overwhelming for some of you. Ugh. For some of you guys I'm seeing. The amount of energies that could come toward you, especially with this anxiety. So there could be a need for you guys. Some of the things that you've asked yourself for, right? Some of you guys may want, like, I don't know. But it's like some of the things that you ask for, if it were to happen right now, it would be very overwhelming for you to deal with all of that. Some of you guys are needing to start preparing yourselves for that <laughs> because that, especially because that may be your biggest challenge now, maybe like there's certain things that may be your, big challenge, your biggest challenge is like being in front of a crowd or doing this or doing that. Before, your challenge could have been like just expressing yourself. And now because you've learned to express yourself and now because you've empowered yourself, that is going to be your next challenge, if that makes sense. So yeah, I feel like you guys are really needing to understand that everything that could be around you, your future self is telling you to start, get started. Like, especially because I heard that motorcycle during your reading and someone once gave me a reading and it said level up or like rev up, like just getting ready, you know, like pushing, pu putting your foot on the gas is really what I've been seeing. So much anxiety coming out for you guys. Some of you guys could be, again, there's just like a lot of like, your past could have been filled with like poverty or there could just be something here when it comes to your path past that just has you feeling like anxious or like you know you're just anticipating like you, you don't even understand what's about to come your way i feel like a lot of this especially with this memories a lot of this is something of the past and i also think however you guys have handled this however you guys have dealt with like what's the word that i'm looking for 
your poverty or whatever life you've lived in the past like you've handled it really well some of you guys have been very graceful very humble and i feel like this is why some you guys are going to see some like rewards and recognition that's for some of you guys but um this card came out inner child so yes, yeah, for some of you guys, this could definitely have something to do with your childhood years or whatever. Um, there could be a lot of people that, this is why some of you guys just have anxiety. You don't even recognize how fucking, some of you guys know, like you, you're like, okay, I'm attractive or I'm this or I'm that, but like, bruh, you really don't know like the extent of it, like the real extent of it. Okay. But like, yeah, you guys, you're at first, your future self is telling you that at first it's going to be uncomfortable. At first, you may be unsure of yourself. You may not fully recognize how much of a bombshell or how much of a whatever you actually are i think because of some of the things that you've dealt with when it comes to your your childhood years but i think especially with this ace of swords and like you know how that swords always have like that shining light that just means clarity in my opinion like for me i'm just seeing like something that just brings you the clarity that you need like something that just gives you the clarity that you need when it comes to yourself you're gonna get used to it you're gonna get comfortable I'm seeing when it comes to like you expressing yourself or you showing up some type of way and from there I'm just feeling like it's just you're gonna really start recognizing the rare gifts that you have and it's like walking through this door like finally being able to walk through this door a lot of you guys have been very compassionate and nurturing to yourselves a lot of you guys have been just giving unconditionally to yourselves and this is really about to pay off this is the main thing that i'm seeing though get pre get prepared for the new challenges you could possibly face so start asking yourselves what things have i overcome and what things am i still struggling with now because the things that you're struggling with now probably most likely will manifest into your future and i feel like after this you're not even going to deal with fear anymore after whatever battle you face next it's like there's going to be no more fear like what's going to be next is just more so intellectual or business oriented things it's like this is what like all of the things that you have been learning now have been pretty much preparing you for what you're about to have to consistently deal with but you're going to be a professional at it or you're going to have all of the information under your belt if that makes sense to just handle it to where it's not even going to be much of a challenge of course there may be challenges from here but you're going to be handling shit it's the main thing that i'm seeing so if this resonated comment a sword down below i appreciate every single last one of you guys for getting this reading thank you so much for being here uh, for just staying until the end um i hope you guys are interacting with my stuff and i hope that you guys really do enjoy my content let me know down below if you guys have any video requests or any ideas for spiritual content that i should do soon be prepared because i will be posting more content that's just not strictly tarot okay bye guys hey guys welcome to or back to my channel thank you so much for joining me pile number three so let's just get straight into your message I like to shuffle all the cards first and then I'll read you guys exactly what it is that I see. If you guys don't want to watch the shuffling portion, you can skip that in the description box down below. But I just like to include it so you guys know that I'm not like manipulating the reading or whatever. Hello, pile number three. So what is the message that i'm seeing for you guys number one i just want to say that there may be something that you guys are about to do or that you're currently doing on social media that's really about to pay off whatever work you're putting in i do think that right now fucking work man hold on guys are talking about vampires this card dreams right here and then the main card that you guys have is and so what i'm literally feeling is first of all my camera just fell over and like that is dropped like water just fucking spilled everywhere and shit which is super annoying but I, like there could be something and i'm not even trying to scare you guys um because i don't want to scare you um but with this vampire energy and the soulless energy there could be certain things and energies that really do not want you to win or that really like really want you to stay in some sort of um energy and this could be some sort of family curse not trying to be scary this could be a generational curse a generational thing that's happening 
This could be certain people in your life. This could be like certain family members who are possessed, not really, but like possessed with the energy of like, I don't want to say possessed, like I'm going to eat you and shit like that, but like possessed in the ways of that they are projecting their curses onto you or whatever the fuck it is. You know what I mean? So I'm just getting like for some of you, especially if you're doing things on social media, there could be people that are not actually cool with you. People that see some sort of possibility with you or whatever the case is, bruh. Some of you guys are about to be on social media doing certain things. Y'all just need to start saging, cleansing, and making this a part of your, like, daily or weekly practice of cleansing your space. And also, not really to, you see this mystery card? Like, keeping things to yourself. Really keeping things to yourself, not telling everybody everything. Um, I understand that, um, a lot of you guys may just be super excited. Um, nothing that you, that it's meant to be yours can be taken, but I just feel like, other people can send energy to your way and it can just cause like certain maybe it won't stop shit but it could just cause your situation to be more difficult than it needs to be there's also something that i'm seeing with dreams here so some of you guys whatever you've been daydreaming recently whatever like daydreams you've been having whatever perception you've been having or whatever i feel like this is really about to fucking help you so there's some sort of like uh not even help you but this is about to be what you're living in i'm so sorry guys i'm getting like so many messages which is why sometimes when i'm i'm saying these it's like 50 million things that in one word but um you guys are getting a lot of channeled like messages during this time i hate like it's so weird guys because for your message like now there's someone standing outside my window listening to this reading before there was like and it's like literally my outside window like it's not even like my house someone in my house listening to this reading someone outside my window listening to this and then it's just like random things bro so anyway I'm just feeling like you guys may need to continue working in silence and moving in silence and working underneath the moon. Not forever. This is just until this manifest, which honestly, I'm seeing this manifest soon. So with this healing powers, growth, um, personal development here, inherited issues, that's literally what I was talking about. Generational trauma, shame, sensitivity, forgiveness, superpowers, divinity, cleansing, softness, and pain. So weird because guys, I literally didn't even read into that card yet um and i'm getting that message already but i'm definitely feeling like there's something here with like what's the word that i'm looking for something here with like generational trauma number one i'm hearing that hawk or that bird that just like started screeching i'm seeing something here with generational trauma but like this some sort of like someone or just something that wants you tied to it you know what I mean something that wants you tied to this um I feel that whatever's been happening though you've been sacrificing a lot guys um you know what you have to do like I, I literally feel like some of you guys have been isolated for a while your future self is telling you continue doing what it is that you have to do continue working in silence there's no need for you to be anxious the the feeling the ang anxious feelings that you're getting it's not anxiety there's literally nothing for you to be worried about what you're feeling is excitement all of these it's about to be integrated into your new reality everything that you've been trying to manifest is about to be integrated into your new reality um so this escapism the stuff that you, you've been doing it's okay for you to continue doing that some of you guys may feel like you have to stop daydreaming no continue daydreaming continue doing that actually there's a need if you haven't already to make this a part of your daily practice something that i like to do actually i'll shop for like my dream apartment and my dream house or i'll just shop for all of these things <laughs> which some people may not like but whatever i'll shop for all of these things and that's kind of like i know that i'll be able to get it like it's not like i know that everything that i'm shopping for i'm like literally visualizing my house like this is what i'm gonna have it's not up for debate <laughs> so that's kind of what i'm seeing for y'all like there's a need for you guys to just start doing this a little bit more yeah, candle magic. There's a need for you guys to really start doing more things that are going to bring your manifestations into fruition. Now, this isn't meant to scare you. If you don't want magic, I'm actually going to do a video about this. So, guys, stay tuned for my videos because y'all know I tell you guys the real deal how to manifest things into your life. So, anyway, candle magic, you guys can choose to do that if you, if you want to. Um, or... 
you can decide to just try to start using your dreams or doing daydreams or just visualization practices that's going to help you bring this into fruition but i feel that you guys are really needing to start being willing to express yourself and being willing to be taboo i actually don't want to i don't know if taboo is the right word I, maybe i should stop using that word because i don't know if that word is like meant for like actual like um dark shit and i hope not but um <laughs> i'm just feeling like there may be you have thoughts and opinions that not everyone's going to agree with you have certain you have opinions you have thoughts you need to start using them at this time um and start expressing them there's something here with social media and so i'm seeing that these discussions these conversations that you have but also your style the way that who it is that you are your uniqueness that is what's going to be the most beneficial to you during this time when it comes to whatever it is that you're about to be putting out there into the world it's your uniqueness that's going to get you the recognition that you're looking for so yeah there's definitely something that you're destined for and that i feel you guys are actually about to be getting because of the work that you've done because of the sacrifices that you guys have made because of the personal development that you've had and this is what your future self is trying to let you know there's really nothing for you to worry about anymore there's nothing for you to be anxious about anymore this is something is rightfully yours that's the main thing that i'm seeing i do feel some of you guys have this anxiety and you have self-doubt and you could be actually really sensitive too um but the oh my gosh there's a lot that i'm getting but you guys need to trust that you are fine you guys are actually having certain powers that you've come to this earth with for some of you this could be the powers of manifestation some of you guys is the power of communication whether this is writing lyrics whether this is um starting conversations expressing yourself in some sort of way having di saying having different fucking opinions about things um whatever the case is i think that you guys and there's a lot of spiritual development here that i'm that i'm seeing um but yeah you guys this is here and some of you guys have been in tune with this like this is literally something here with this um with all of this like unseen and all of this like this is you unlocking this something that's always been yours like i'm seeing the angels like saying like okay you're ready We're, you're ready for this and them unlocking this dresser filled with abundance and money and everything that's meant to be yours because now you're actually ready to obtain it and maintain it is really what i'm seeing that's what your future self is about to tell you so all of these things that are fantasies some of you guys have a lot of people that are hating on you because your fantasies the things that are i mean the things that are fantasies for other people it's a fucking reality for you you're making that shit actually happen and so i feel that you could attract certain energies that don't fuck with that that don't like that oh my god there's so much perception do you see this here there's so much perception so much social media some of you guys are going to be being seen by a lot of people and with this chiron energy and i'm seeing like all of this sensitivity coming from you guys some of you guys need to be a little bit careful because i think that you guys could be very sensitive here and i think some of you guys need to just start getting used to like people not agreeing with you or just getting used to something there's some there's certain things that you guys are sensitive about and there's certain people that are going to be perceiving you and that may have certain things to say some of you guys are just needing to start getting prepared for what it is that you're asking for and some of that comes with negativity you know what i mean especially with this ten of swords there could be some negativity that comes with that there could be some people that have things to say you know what i mean so and for some of the things that you're actually about to be getting it may not be really what it is that you want um i do think that it's very important before this comes into your life because you guys are actually about to be being perceived possibly by people that you don't want to be perceived by um this may not be like on a level of oh my god this person's famous with 10 million it could be that for some of you but for others of you it's just being perceived and there could be certain addictions that you're dealing with or certain things that you're not over that other people are going to be able to see you know what i mean if you like there's just certain things that you may not want other people this this could be something that you want to deal with on your own and there's just the need for you guys to get in a space where you are in control of yourself emotionally and just in control of yourself in general to where people do not see what's happening emotionally or spiritually or mentally or physically or whatever the fuck where people are not in your business pretty much if that's not something that you're willing to deal with um, but I think that your perception, your future self is trying to warn you that pretty much nothing is like that's what your future self is trying to tell you the opportunities are going to be coming in to the point where there's a lot and it's because you've surrendered so 
keep doing your manifestation practices some of you guys could have already done candle magic candle work but this is all about to come into fruition for you guys um i really hope that you guys um resonated with this if you did comment a butterfly down below thank you guys so much for joining me on this video i hope you guys have an amazing day afternoon or night bye